Hello everyone. In the previous part, we discussed about brief introduction of Golgi bodies or Golgi complex. In this session, I would like to explain structure of Golgi complex. The structure of Golgi complex was explained by Dalton. Ultra structure of Golgi body or Golgi complex explained by Dalton. Dalton. He used electron microscope and he explained the structure of Golgi bodies. In this, he observed mainly three types of elements. Three elements. What are those elements? These elements are number one, sister name. First element is sister name and second element is vesicle and third element is vacuoles vacuoles these three elements are observed by Dalton when he is observing with electron microscope this Golgi body shows polarity 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 can be understand after drawing the diagram of Golgi complex ok next coming to uh, different elements in Golgi body in the first one is sister name let us draw the diagram of Golgi bodies in the sister name first sister name the sister name are elongated flattened and sac like structures elongated flattened and sac like structures in each Golgi body their member ranges up to uh, 7 3 to 7 Golgi bodies are present in uh, sorry 3 to 7 cisterne are present in each Golgi body they are sac like structures and they are parallelly arranged they are parallelly arranged one above the another they appear like stacks they are appear like stacks these all are cisterne and these cisterne are interconnected with a cement like substance a cement like substance this cement like substance is called inter cisternal material what is that inter cisternal material this is inter cisternal material ok these cisterne are slightly curved they are slightly curved due to this due to this curve they have concave shape and convex sorry concave side and convex side this is convex side convex side and this is concave side concave side convex side and concave sides both sides are present to the uh, sister name because of the curve and their ends are swollen or bulged these are the swollen ends or bulged ends and their diameter is about generally 20 to 30 angstroms this is about sister name next coming to vesicles vesicles are small spherical structures they are small spherical structures they are generally present at the ends of the cisterne these are vesicles vesicles they are present at the ends of cisterne they are formed by budding of cisterne the ends of cisterne are bulged in their size and a constriction is formed then after they are uh, separated from the ends of cisterne then they are called vesicles or understand vesicles next their diameter is generally about 40 to 60 angstroms their diameter is about 40 to 
60 angstroms 60 angstroms next coming to vacuoles coming to vacuoles vacuoles are a large spherical structures they are large spherical structures they are also present at the ends of cistern these are vacuoles vacuoles they are also present at the ends of cistern they are formed uh, formed due to enlargement of uh, cistern when the cistern are enlarged in their size automatically vacuoles are formed vacuoles are formed their diameter is about uh, 4200 angstroms 4200 angstroms they are larger in size compared to vesicles these golgi bodies have mainly two sides mainly two sides one side is known as forming phase forming phase and second side is the second side is known as maturing phase maturing phase these two phases are present to the golgi bodies forming phase is present towards uh, convex side this side is called forming phase forming phase and concave side of the golgi body is called maturing phase maturing phase these two sides are present to the golgi complex why it is called forming phase and why it is called maturing phase in this side in forming phase new cistern or new lamellae are added to the cistern new lamellae for example these are lamellae these lamellae are added to the uh, system and uh, at maturing phase at maturing phase this these cisterns are losing material in the form of vesicles maturing phase cistern is losing material losing its material in the form of vesicles that's why it is called maturing phase it is called forming phase in the forming phase new lamella are added at maturing phase they are losing their material that means uh, some um, information is transported from here to here i understand and one more sentence i already told that golgi complex showing polarity it has concave side and convex side concave side is always towards plasma membrane concave and convex convex concave side is always present towards plasma membrane plasma membrane and convex side is always present towards nucleus nucleus this character this character of golgi body is called polarity are you understand this is about golgi body once again i am repeating golgi body the structure of golgi body is explained by dalton by uh, observing the golgi body under electron microscope he observed mainly three elements they are cisterne vesicles and vacuoles cisterne are long elongated sac like structure they are present one above the another in parallel bands and they appear like stalks again these cisterns are attached or cemented by intercisternal material and their ends are swollen and they have um, curved they are slightly curved due to this they have concave side and convex side concave and convex side next coming to vesicles vesicles are small spherical structures they are formed by budding of cistern 
they are present at the ends of sister neck. Next, their diameter is about 40 to 60 angstroms. Next, coming to vacuoles, vacuoles are large spherical structures. They are formed by enlargement of sister neck. Their diameter is about 40 to 100 angstroms, and each Golgi body have generally uh, two phases. They are forming phase and maturing phase. At forming phase, new lamellae are added to the cistern at maturing phase um, that losing the material in the form of vesicles in the form of vesicles again Golgi body shows polarity it has concave and convex sides concave side is always present towards the plasma membrane and convex side always present towards nucleus this is about structure of Golgi body. In the next session, I will explain um, functions of Golgi body. Okay, thank you.